the rule of 72. This is one of the most important lessons on investing that you can ever learn. What does this rule mean? Rule of 72 means if you take 72 divided by the annual return that you are getting from your investment, it will come out to the number of years it will take for you to double your money. This means if you put money in fixed deposit and let's say you get 4%, it will take you 72 divided by 4, 18 years for you to double your money. If you take 72 divided by if you are a decent investor, you get a 12% return. It will take you 6 years for you to double your money. If you are a good investor and you get 24% per annum, you take 72, divide by 24, you come up with 3. And if 24%, your 50,000 will become 100,000 in 3 years. And why is this important? Here's why. Now, suppose if you look at this diagram, this is your initial money. Let's say it's 1,000 ringgit. You invest 1,000 ringgit and you're able to double it once. That 1,000 ringgit will become 2,000. And you double it again, become 4. Double again, become 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 216, 512, 1024. That means if you can double your money once, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, if you can double your money ten times in a row, 1,000 would have turned into 1 million. Now, the good news is, chances are you are not going to be 10 doubles away from becoming a millionaire. Chances are you have more than 1,000 ringgit in saving. And my guess is you should have between 32,000 to 128,000 if you have been a working adult for some time. If you don't have that, chances are you don't have an investment problem. What you have is a money management problem. Make sense, right? Doesn't make sense if someone has been working for a long time, don't even have 32,000. And here's what's the good news. If you start with 32,000, you are not 10 doubles away from becoming a millionaire. From 1,000 to 32,000, it's very easy to achieve by saving, by working harder, or by getting your bonus. But from 32,000 to 1 million, that's where investing comes in. Because here, you only need 1, 2, 3, 4, five double or if you start from 128,000 which some of you have then you're how many doubles away one two three so the good news is you're only three to five doubles away from becoming a millionaire and here's how we can link the rule of 72 concept and the concept of doubling your money to reach a million whereby you are only three to five doubles away from becoming a millionaire and let's say it's five double some of you I my guess is probably three or four, or maybe two, right? And let's combine this, right? If you get 4% by a fixed deposit and you need five double, and every double takes you 18 years, it take you 90 years. By that time, your children will be a millionaire, but not you. If you get 12%, you're a decent investor, not very good, but decent, and it takes you six years to double your money, pretty good, right? And you need to double it five times. Let's assume you start with 32,000. It will take you 30 years. Good if you're starting in your 20s. By 50s, you're already a millionaire, excluding all your house, your car, everything else, just from whatever you invest here. And let's say if you're a good investor, you get 24% return, right? Every double takes you three years. You need five double. You only take you... 15 years. So even if you're 35 by 50, you could be a millionaire. Now, what does this mean? This means that you're only three to five doubles away from becoming a millionaire. That's number one. Number two is the return that you get is very important. If you get a very low return, it makes it almost impossible for you to become, I won't even say rich, to be decent, right? Because millionaire by 30 to 15 years, it's not even much, right? But it's still better than nothing. So, interesting concept, isn't it? But here's the thing. Unfortunately, a lot of people that try to get high return actually end up with high return but negative return. For example, if they try to aim for 24%, they usually get 24% but negative return, right? So, they end up with losses because, here's the sad thing, a lot of people misinterpret that if you need to get high return, you need to take high risk. And that is a very... Uh, misleading thought because the risk you have when you invest is proportional 
to the amount of knowledge that you have. So the key to get good return without much losses or much risk is to first get yourself educated. Now, is go a good investment? It could be good investment if you know how to trade it. Is stocks a good investment? Stocks a good investment for Warren Buffett, but it's a bad investment for you because you do not know how to do it properly. And it's very natural, much like accounting or engineering or you know, law. If you never learn it properly, how do you expect to know how to do it well, right? So that is the key lesson that I want you to bring away from this video, right? Start investing as early as possible, get a decent return, and this is why investing is so important because it can really compound and multiply your money once your capital become a decent amount. But of course, before you go there, you have to have proper money management whereby you're saving money, etc. Right? And if you like this video, please go ahead, like, comment, or share it with your friend. And the key thing that I want you to bring away is consistency in getting proper return is much better than a one hit wonder followed by losses, right? So consistently get 12% is already very good, okay? By the way, my name is Ming Tik. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you again. Bye.